Hi everyone, it is Saturday morning and today I am going to attempt to redo Cho's house in the living room. For a little bit of context, I'll show you. Whoops, that fell. This is Cho's current house, which I made in like an hour a couple of months ago just because I was bored. And I was gonna throw it out, but basically, let me pop this back up. Basically, it turns out Cho really, really likes that house and he goes into it like all the time. And so I couldn't throw it out even though it was kind of atrocious looking. So I'm going to attempt to make a better looking house out of cardboard and other cheap material. So I like went to the recycle room or, or recycle bins in our apartment building and I got these random boxes. And then I went to Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, and got all these crafts. I got like this weird paneling, some felt, um, like cork board, just like a bunch of random stuff. And I'm going to attempt to make a better looking house for that one. And then hopefully he likes it because I've noticed really how he uses this current one. So making something even better for him. And then we'll catch, I guess, Cho's reaction to the finished house once I'm done. So first I had Cho lay in the box just to see how he would fit. Looks like he likes this direction. So I went ahead and taped up all the sides so I could have a square structure to work with. And then from there, I cut out a door and I opted for a corner door. I then basically put up the structure again and I had Cho fit inside so I could see how he was orienting himself. Looks like he spins around so he can look out the door. This seems like a very Cho move. He does this with his igloo as well. I don't know how he fits his whole body in there. I think it's just hair, but then he looks out the front door. And I decided that I actually want a skylight on the top of the house, so I drew some grid lines that I had cut out. I then was taking this blue felt and cut it to the bottom of my box. And then I used this double-sided tape for a lot of what I did, mainly to put the blue felt down first. And then I cut out some of this contact paper so I could put it as lining inside of my box. There's my blue felt as the carpet. And then I secured that contact paper. I then started to align these bricks and then I thought, you know, we're going to see the box at the edge so I should probably put white duct tape over that. So I put white duct tape over all the corners that are in this house just so it doesn't show through the brick as brown. Then I just put normal paper on top put all the double-sided tape on all the corners, and then put that on top. Here I am cutting out that fake brick and laying it down. Looks like it's a perfect fit or close to a perfect fit for this box, and I'm glad I put that white duct tape down. Here's the front side of the house. You can see how I laid out the different bricks, basically alternating where they start. Here's Cho the entire time just waiting for me to complete this house for him. Alright, here's one of the other sides that I worked on. Just cut a bunch of the edges, and then I did the same brick pattern for the other side as well. So I also bought this cork board, and I decided I was going to put this as a frame for the skylight. So I cut it out strips, and then I double sticky taped them on, and I got to figure out a way to put up these fairy lights. Then I found I could unbend these paper clips and use them as basically little hooks on my skylight, where I use the string lights and I basically wrap them around those paper clips and this is how it turns out. Alright, I'm venting down because this is the final product of Cho's new home. I'm trying not to bribe him too much so I'm not putting any like toys in there to make him see if he likes it. I just want to see if he likes it overall. So the house features this wonderful fake brick and this beautiful skylight, which I can turn on the lights because it's very festive and cute with this beautiful royal blue uh, felt carpet. So let's call Chocho -Cho over and see if he actually likes and wants to go in. Chocho, -Cho, come here. Come here, Bubs. Do you want to go inside? <laughs> Skylight's looking a little tight. All right, well, he seems content. I guess we'll see if he stays in here. But I feel like this was a success. 